Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today was a very kind of long, hectic day at work. So I just felt like coming home, playing with some makeup, relaxing, unwinding a little bit. And I've been wanting to actually create a nice smoky eye using the new Marc Jacobs Iconic Palette in Stiletto, which is just this guy right here. Gorgeous kind of cool toned shades. You can see here in my last video, I actually went ahead and did a review with swatches and everything like that. So if you'd like to see that, just go ahead and check out my last video. Otherwise, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe. And if you like this video, then definitely give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see how to recreate this look, then just keep on watching. All right, so I've already gone ahead and done my complexion. If you'd like to know my kind of foundation routine, you can go back and hit up any of my old uh, Get Ready With Me videos. Nothing much has changed. Now we are stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit here today. I don't typically do too much of a smoky dark eye. Normally stick to more kind of neutrals, toned down looks, more browns, pinks, those kind of things. However, today I wanted to try out that gorgeous silver glitter shade in the new Marc Jacobs Stiletto palette. First things first, before we go ahead and start with any eyeshadows, I'm just going to take my Dappened Beauty Sponge and kind of remove any sort of creasing that I may have gotten while I've been chatting with you all. I did just go over with my Hourglass uh, Veil Translucent Setting Powder just as kind of like a base for the shadows. Now stepping into the shadows, the first transition shade that I am going to go with is this guy here. It's called The Concrete and just taking a large fluffy blending brush just like so, I'm going to go ahead and kind of fluff that all into my crease. So I'm pretty happy with that first shade laid down. I'm going to go in with this third shade, which is called Jungle, that gorgeous kind of purple plum shade there, and just kind of really focus that on the outer V portion, just kind of almost detailing it in. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and then I'm going to work both of those in afterwards. Now that I'm happy with kind of the initial shape of everything, I'm going to go in with that first kind of fluffy brush here and just taking some of that first transi transition shade very lightly dusting over top and just kind of working that in just so that everything is nice and blended. And now just taking my wet beauty sponge, just kind of going in and cleaning up any of those lines. Now I'm thinking that I'm going to try a little bit of a cut crease, nothing crazy. I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape here. And just placing that on a small flat ended brush. I'm pretty 
happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other eye here. Now to place that silver glitter that was in the palette, I'm actually going to go ahead and use that same concealer brush. Use the brush first, see how it applies. If all else fails, I will use my fingers. Now that actually went on pretty smoothly with the brush, however, I'm going to go ahead and use my finger just to see if I get any kind of added effect. Mm. No, about the same actually. Uh, maybe a little different. And for inner highlight, I'm going to go in with this middle shade which is called Sidewalks and I like to just use my finger for this part here. So I'll kind of bring you guys a little bit closer here so you could see the look so far. I am going to throw on some black liner though. This eye came out a little bit patchy just in this area. It has nothing to do with shadows. My eyeballs are just dry. Now when it comes to doing a black liner, I cannot use anything else except for the Tarte Clay Pot. I've tried many different types of felt pens and the clay pot is just where it's at for me. one heavy line. <laughs> Move over to the other side, cross our fingers that they turn out the same. with this. I'm not going to fuss or start playing with it at all. Lastly, I'm going to go ahead and throw some liner in the waterline. This is the Marc Jacobs Fine Liner, Fine Liner Ultra Skinny Gel Eye Crayon in Big Eyes. So it's just a nice kind of white eyeliner and it just helps make the eyes pop a little bit, which I kind of want just because my eyes are looking a little bit dark from these darker shadows. Go ahead and curl my lashes quickly. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Caution Extreme Mascara. Alright, and 
And this is kind of the final look here. So gorgeous kind of smoky eye. I'm actually very happy with how this turned out. I'll kind of bring you guys in a little bit closer so you can see. So don't pay much attention to this eye. Like I said, it's a little bit on the drier side. So the shadows did bunch up a little bit there, which kind of was to be expected. I did throw on some lip gloss, which is just the Marc Jacobs. This is their Enamored Hydrating Lip Gloss Stick in shade Sugar Sugar. I thought it was appropriate for this look just because usually with a smoky eye, I don't like to apply anything too bold. So a nice kind of gloss is perfect. And that has a nice kind of like silver sparkle undertone to it. So now definitely if you like this video, if you like this look, you had any comments or feedback, definitely go ahead and leave a comment down below. Otherwise that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all again next time.